Hey everybody, it's Mark Klim here, Realty One Group Coastal. Hope you're doing well. Hey, a lot of people have asked, how do I buy a house during coronavirus? Or how are you showing houses during this coronavirus thing, Mark? And so luckily technology has come a long way, right? And um, there's so many things through the steps of the home buying process that you'll be able to do from home um, until you find that one that, hey, this might be the one I wanna put a contract in on. Um, so I'm just going to walk through a couple of things, how they might have changed or what we're doing now um, during this time to keep everybody safe, not only the seller, but all the, obviously, obviously myself and the buyers as well. Um, so a couple of things. Um, whenever you, you're buying a house, you want to talk to a real estate agent first. It might not be me. It might be your friend or your brother or your sister that's a real estate agent. Talk to them first. Let them know what your goals are. Let them know why you're moving. Um, they really need to know all the ins and outs so that they can really try to find the perfect place for you that meets your family's needs that you can call home. The next thing you want to do is definitely get pre-approved or pre-qualified. Um, in this time of age, a lot of people don't even want people coming into their homes and looking at homes unless they are pre-qualified. It also lets people know that, hey, I'm a serious buyer. I really want to do this right now. So um, definitely get pre-qualified, pre-approved. Talk to your real estate agent. They're going to be able to direct you into um, the lenders that are um, good. They that get the job done. They've worked with them several times. They know that they have good rates and low fees and things like that. Um, I've got a few that I work with depending upon the buyer's situation, um, but I know that they will all go to bat for my clients and they have the best interest in mind for my clients. Um, so that's obviously really important next. Once you have that, you'll have an idea of how much house that you can afford. Obviously, you don't want to be looking at a $500,000 house if um, you 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 know, can't see the, uh, 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 you can't afford that particular price. We want to get you in the proper, um, the proper house. Sorry, my phone's going off here. It's a little crazy. <laughs> so the next thing that we'll do is once that you're pre-qualified and pre-approved, I or your real estate agent will start sending you different houses to look at online. Pictures are great, of course. Um, of course, with uh, professional photography, they use the wide-angle lens. It may not be exactly as the picture looks, so that's why a lot of times we go out and show different homes, right? So how do you do that during the coronavirus? Well, luckily, so many of the agents now, I would say 80 to 90% of them are either have some sort of video or virtual tour that you can do. Your real estate agent should be able to get their hands on that video or virtual tour and send that over to you. That'll be kind of like the first way that you um, disqualify that house or qualify it as, hey, this may be the one. This may be one of the ones you, you want to go see. Um, once you're there, then what we're going to do is if, if there is no video, first of all, um, a real estate agent like myself could go out by themselves and get that video to keep it safer for everybody um, and then send that video to you so that you do have something to look at as if you were there almost. And then next, um, we might have to go schedule a showing at that point, right? We'll glove up, we'll mask up, whatever we need to do to keep it safe for everybody. Um, but you may actually want to see it in person. Um, there's drone photos and videos of different properties that give you a good perspective of the neighborhood because that's important, right? You want to be able to make sure it's a place that you want to live. Um, what else? So some of the other things that you can think of is when it comes to closing time. Uh, if you do um, a, uh, a closing with a closing attorney that does um, most of the documents at home and that way you only have to go in and sign the very few documents at the end that need to be. Um, there's attorneys that do power of attorney so you don't even have to be there if the lender accepts that. Some lenders are going to require you to have wet ink on, on the document. But um, 
even right through closing. So those are just some of the things that we've been changing, some of the ways that we've been looking at houses and buying houses. Um, just on the market today, I think, let me take a look real quick. I think it was 70 homes hit the market today. Yep, 70 homes in between yesterday and today hit the market. And then um, 62 closings happened today and 51 homes went under contract between yesterday and today. Um, so homes still are buying and selling. They may be a little bit slower, especially in that higher market, that higher price, the 300, 350 and up. Um, those listings may take a little bit longer. Showings have slowed down a little bit, um, but uh, stay in there, stay, stay strong and your house will sell and you you will find the perfect place for yourself as well. If there's anything that I can do, please give me a call. I'd love to try to help. Uh, just to answer questions, I'm here for you. But otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.